What's up, guys? So before we get the review going, man, I just want to give three quick shout-outs to Che Dizzle, Corvette 1415, Fudgy the Wolf for helping me get this review done just a little bit faster. So here we go. Campus here with Trey Wayne's 90 overall zone defense style, 6 foot tall, 96 speed, 90 excel, 96 zone, 78 catch, 81 play rec, 94 man, 92 agility, and 94 press. Only has a 77 awareness, which is unfortunate. Only has a 54 tackle, which you would definitely see in the review. And also has a 79 spectacular catch, so he will make some amazing um, interceptions from time to time. But anyways, man, enough talking. Let me show you what he can do. So when I got Waynes, man, I knew the one player right away that I was going to be comparing him to was that draft, Patrick Peterson. I got rid of Patrick Peterson the or the second day that Campus Hero Waynes came out because I needed to upgrade Patrick Peterson. Not because of anything like in particular, just because I felt that he was getting beat more often than not, you know, especially lately, you know, he was just getting killed. So I need to upgrade him. Now, even though they're both a 90 overall rating, I picked up Waynes because not only because, well, of course, he does have a zone defense style, which fits my uh, team style, but also because he has 96 speed, which is something you definitely need nowadays with all these fast receivers out there. And right here, his press rating, amazing, man. Definitely did a great job at pressing, did not matter who it was. Now, of course, he did get beat a few times, but for the most part, he definitely did do a good job. And it, uh, the good thing is, those few times where he did get beat on the press, he is so fast. His recovery speed is amazing, so he can definitely catch back up to the person who beats him, assuming that you know the opponent doesn't throw like a quick bullet or anything. Now, the one, I guess, struggle point, or I guess you could say, was the deep ball, but we'll get that part later. Right here, his man-to-man -man was great and definitely good with the drags because a lot of people run drag, whether you run a zone or man defense, so it's good to see where he can actually keep up with them and stays right on them when they do their drag routes. And this right here, of course, he will have his bad moments. Now, this was his one, you know, a struggle point was the deep ball with tall receivers, that is. If he was going up against guys like, you know, 6'1", 6 foot or shorter, did okay. But when he goes up against guys like 6'5", six, 6'4", six, or taller, that's where he struggled the most. Like Brandon Marshall, Green Beckham, you know, Calvin Johnson, guys like that is when he struggled. Which is why I got rid of Patrick Peterson because of, of the deep ball. Lately, he's he just been getting burned lately. But, you know what, that's completely fine with me. Well, not fine with me, but, you know... I'd rather have a corner with 96 speed than 93 speed, even though they're both going to get beat with the deep ball from time to time. But anyways, as far as putting him in the slot, I say he's definitely more suited for the uh, for the outside because of how fast he is. Now, of course, if you run a man-to-man -man system, you know, like a heavy man-to-man -man system, I guess it's okay to put him in the slot. But if you run a zone system, I definitely recommend putting him outside. And this right here. Terrible, terrible, terrible tackler, man. Do not try to hit stick with him. At the very least, man, you or trust that what you should do is try to go for the conservative tackle if it comes to that. And even then, I can't guarantee you. Because right here, I think I tried, yeah, right there, I tried for the conservative tackle and he just runs right through me. I think that was that team of the week, David Johnson. So it, it was just sad to see him tackle. So hopefully, you don't have to lean on him for tackling. This right here is definitely what, you know, really impressed me. That right there. I had him in the zone uh, defense right there. He just jumped the route right here. Have him in zone again. He just out jumps that receiver. And he's going to get the interceptions, man. It does not matter whether it's him jumping the route or like this right here, just out jumping the receiver. Or if the ball just gets plopped up in the air and he just, you know, has good reflexes and gets the uh, tip drill. So I definitely recommend trying out Trey Waynes, man. The guy is definitely a monster in his own right. And that right there, if you're fast enough, if you've got the good reflexes to click on him at the last second and, you know, swerve him out or swerve him in um, to get the interception, I definitely recommend trying Waynes out. So Waynes or Campus Hero Waynes, definitely not sure if he's going to be a uh, top 10 corner, but definitely worth trying out. And I'm going to end this review with him doing something that – or. Or should I say, I did something that I don't really recommend you guys doing too often. But I just had to do it just to see if you could do it. And right here, I'm going to slow it down so you guys see it. And right here, he's going to get the interception. That's great and everything. But I definitely recommend that if you get a pick like this, I always recommend, you know, get as many yards as you can. But then go out of bounds. But I just couldn't help myself. So I tried to hurdle this guy. And look what happens. I actually hurdled the hit stick. So I'm going to end that review on that note. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of this review. My final thoughts, do I think he's worth 170000 I feel like that's a pretty good price for him right now. And I'm sure as time goes on, his price would just keep on dropping. So I definitely recommend trying him out. Is he top 5? No. Top 10? Maybe. And the only reason he could be in the top 10 is because of his speed. That's really about it. That's speed and acceleration. Other than that, not really top 10 worthy. But if you want to put him in the top 10, 
you know i can completely understand why you why you would want to because of that speed but anyways guys that's gonna be the end of that man don't forget to like comment subscribe my next review might not be out till maybe friday or saturday hopefully sooner but anyways guys until then i will see y'all boys later peace